Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for the 2009 Honda Fit. Our most popular is going to be the Draw Tight Class 1, that part number is 24826. And we'll follow that up with the Kurt Class 1, part number C11064. Now you'll see there's quite a bit of a difference here in the design of our hitches overall. The Kurt has a couple of arms that are going to come up on each side to a single connection point. Then there's a plate that's going to run underneath the vehicle and it offers two more connection points underneath the spare tire well in the back of the car. Now the draw tight's going to use already existing holes. We're going to have two on each side that mount in. However, you'll see the draw tight with this large bend. This is made to go around. This is going to go under and around the exhaust, which sits right here where the Kurt it's the, the exhaust is going to come out right here so we don't have that extra piece that comes down and around. Now cosmetically on the rear of the vehicle you're going to see maybe this whole cross tube area where the curtain it's going to be a little bit narrower. So if looks are really important and you want to see as little as possible the Kurt's are going to be the better of the two options however this does require more work to get it installed. The driver side connection point doesn't exist so that's one you're going to have to drill out then enlarge, whereas with the draw tight we've got very minor modification that we're going to make to two already existing holes to get our hardware in place. Now the Kurt has a flush reinforcement cowler around the end of it here. See it's pretty smooth, pretty nice look. Safety chain connection points are going to be of a rounded steel stock here. Then we've got our half inch diameter pinhole that we'll use for securing all of our items. Now there's plenty of room on each side, so whatever device that you would choose, whether it's just a regular pin and clip, maybe anti-rattle bolt, or even locking hitch pin, should have plenty of room there. That's going to go for both the draw tight and our Kurt. You see we're going to have the same half inch diameter pin hole there, same size on the safety chain connection points down here. Now the draw tight doesn't have that reinforcement cowler around the end. They both have the same tongue weight, so it doesn't make that big of a difference but this one's going to be just a little bit smaller looking. They're both going to have square cross tubes that are going to come over. We kind of talked on that. You're going to see a little bit more on the draw tight than you will from the cart. And when it comes to weight ratings, everything's going to be the same from hitch to hitch. They offer a 200 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force we can put there at the receiver tube opening. And they have a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That would be the total weight of your trailer and anything that you were to load up on them. Now, Small trailers are going to be one use for these. Your smaller bike racks, smaller cargo carriers, class one hitches are rated for use with up to two bikes. You don't want to add too many bikes there. You start putting some unnecessary stress on the hitch. And then your cargo carriers, you just want to stay within the capacity of that 200 pounds. And we'll of course need the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter accessories. You want to be sure those are rated class one. Now you do want to check the owner's manual on the fit. We need to find out what its tow rating is and then you'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now neither hitch is rated for weight distribution. The Kurt will recommend the use of a stabilization strap for non-wheeled loads. So, so if we're carrying like a cargo carrier or a bike rack, something of that nature, they recommend that we use a stabilization strap with it. Now this is what the draw tight looks like installed. You'll see our cross tube that's gonna come over here. Now from the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening down to the ground, both hitches we're going to have about nine and a half to nine and three quarters of an inch and then from the center of our hitch pin location here to the outermost edge of our bumper we're looking at somewhere like three and three quarter to four inches they're both very very similar to one another so you're not going to get a big change in benefit there with the receiver tube opening here being as close as it is to the ground when you're shopping for your cargo carriers or for your bike racks, you definitely want to find something that's got a raised shank to it, and the more the better. What that allows us to do is come out of the receiver tube, and then it's going to elevate that product up high enough, giving us some additional ground clearance. Both hitches are going to do just about the same job. There's not going to be one advantage to one over the other one for towing or for cargo carriers or for bike racks. They're all rated right at the same. When it comes time to decide which hitch is right for you, I think the main key things that we need to look at here are how much do you care about this being visible coming across? That would be one deciding factor. If you don't like seeing it, the Kurt's going to offer the least of that. 
also installation and how hard it is it, is it to install. I definitely think since we don't have to drill any extra holes and make just very, very minor modifications, the draw tight's going to be easier as far as that goes. The weight ratings, the tow capability, all of that's going to be about the same. If I were going to be putting my money down on one and picking one over the other, I think since the draw tight is a little bit easier to install, that would lean me toward that way a little bit. And also, I wouldn't want to use the stabilization strap all the time. If I were going to be using cargo carriers or bike racks pretty much as a steady diet for the hitch, I think I'd probably go with that draw tight. And that's going to complete our look at the best hitches available for the Honda Fit. I hope this will help you in making your buying decision. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.